<coughs> Hello, today is Monday, April uh, 15th, 2024. Uh, it's raining outside. I'm sitting inside my car. I parked my car at a parking lot near my office. Uh, since today is Monday and it's raining, I decided to commute to work uh, by car. And I'm sitting inside and trying to read this article. And uh, it's going to be a heavy rain today, uh, according to the forecast. Uh, probably it's not much rain, hopefully, but it will uh, help the crops grow a little bit. Uh, speaking of rain, I don't think uh, Iran, Iran, Iran doesn't have, uh, ha does have a lot of rain because it's uh, more like a desert rocky mountains yesterday i ran a bombed israel and israel got shit out of uh their face because they were like a 98 percent of the attacks were uh, thwarted by anti-missiles anti-drone technology uh, but uh, israel uh, supposedly bombed the uh, uh, iranian embassy somewhere and it's so terrible. I I would like to visit Israel, but sometimes Israel seems to be too hard, too harsh. Uh, while Iran and other Persian Middle East countries, they look uh, kind, uh, not selfish, uh, more generous, lovable. Uh, that's my uh, bias, but. When I visit Israel, everything will change. Maybe I will be more neutral. I hope uh, there is no fight between Israel and all other uh, Arab countries. I was uh, keen on visiting Iran uh, because Iranian uh, women are beautiful and men are very kind. And the country seems to have very nice sceneries. So let's find out everything about Iran. This article is from cheetahadventures.com. I think it's much better than Wikipedia or, or any other uh, uh, out, news outlet or uh, website that provides the information. So well, hopefully this article will be nice to me. I've never read this article before. I am trying to read this article to uh, practice listening skills and also uh, to hone in on my speaking skills by uh, reading it aloud and trying to memorize the uh, all the good words, expressions, cliches that I judge to be uh, uh, to come in handy in my future uh, interactions with foreigners. So it's a purely academic effort on my part to try to read this article for me, for myself, and for you, maybe. Everything to know before traveling to Iran. In Korea, we call it Iran. Americans call it Iran. Iran. 2024 guide. If you are planning to visit Iran, there are a few things you should consider before you go. We are trying to gather every fact and information you need to know before traveling to Iran to make your trip even better. This is one of the most beautiful yet most maligned um, countries in the world. The Western media, Western media has caused some beliefs, misbeliefs about Iran, making some travelers hesitate before deciding to visit this amazing country. In the, uh, in the following article, we intend to clear these misbeliefs and give you some detailed information about the country that every traveler needs to know before getting off the plane in Iran. Here are 25 things you, should, you need to know before traveling to Iran. What to know before you visit Iran. Table of contents. I will skip that. One Persians, one Persians are not Arabs. Although I, Iran is located in the Middle East, 
and is close to Arabic countries, Iranians are Persians, not Arabs. Only 2% of the population of the country is comprised of the Arabic race, while both Iranians and Arabs are most, most, mostly Muslims. Iranians have different traditions, language, calendar, and national celebrations dating back to thousands of years ago. However, the official language of the country Persian is not to be confused with Arabic, despite their share of script and similar words. 2. No hate towards Americans. The Iranian and American politicians have, have not had the best relationship since the Iranian Revolution in 1979. There have been few governmental protests since then. The town with the USA slogan sometimes heard in these protests is only aiming American politics and has nothing to do with its citizens. Despite anti-America slogans and posters seen in some of the public areas in Iran, none of the Iranians, even those participating in governmental protests, have, have no negative feelings towards Americans and are kind and welcoming towards them. If you are traveling to Iran as, a, as an American, you can be sure that Iranians will welcome you like any other traveler and won't let politics get in the way of showing you their hospitality. Uh, you can read the former American travelers' reviews on TripAdvisor and ask them about their experience in Iran. We also recommend you to see this and this video made by an American tourist who has traveled to Iran several times. 3. Confusing currency and limited payment options. Currency. The official currency of Iran is real. However, due to the dramatic decrease in its value in the last few decades, the prices are now indicated in Toman. Each Toman equals 10 real. The bills and coins are still in real. So in order to find out the value in Toman, you just need to omit one zero. Nowadays, the regular range of prices is in thousand Tomans, so the locals don't bother with all the zeros and say Toman instead of thousand Toman. Hmm. To clear things more, let's see some examples. Iranian Persian numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The price of a pack of gum is usually around 50,000 riyals or 5,000 toman. When asking for the price, the seller will probably tell you. 5 toman, which equals one of these uh, 50,000 real bills. 50,000 uh, reals equals 5,000 tomans, often referred to as 5 tomans. Note, the price written on products or restaurant bills can be stated in toman or real. It's best to ask the seller to make sure. Interesting. 
it can be confusing. 500,000 riyals equals 50,000 tomans, often referred to as 50 tomans. Payment methods. Unfortunately, credit cards and international debit cards, such as Visa and MasterCard, are not supported in Iran. This leaves the travelers with two options, carrying all the money in cash. You can exchange money at the airport, banks, and exchange offices available in cities. Avoid exchanging money in the street or paying for the things you are bought with euros or dollars as the exchange rate is constantly changing. Imam Khomeini Airport Currency Exchange Buying an Iranian debit card if you find carrying a large amount of cash hard and insecure, it's possible to buy a debit card from the various companies available. You can then pay directly with a debit card at most shops all over the country or purchase cash from ATMs. We at Cheetah Adventures provide our travelers with a local debit card during their tour as a charge-free service. Charge-free service as a charge-free service. Four, Iran is safe and free of Islamic extremists. We will start by rejecting one of the most common misbeliefs about safety in Iran. Despite being in the Middle East, there are no traces of war or Islamic groups such as ISIS in any part of Iran. In fact, Iran is a safe country for traveling and besides, regular pickpocketing seen in in any other busy location in the world, there is nothing to worry about. This being said, it's still important to take necessary precautions like locking the door to your uh, hotel room, keeping an eye on your valuable belongings, and avoiding walking alone in uncrowded streets at night. We recommend you to check other travelers' reviews on TripAdvisor to be sure that none of them haven't had an unpleasant experience regarding safety in Iran. Our Iran safety article goes through the different factors of safety in Iran. You can also contact us on WhatsApp 24 by 7 for further information. 5. Driving and cr uh, crossing the road. Iran's have their own way of driving. Although they may seem careless as first, at first, their way of driving is safe for locals. However, the driving culture in Iran is rather different from what most travelers are used to, making driving a difficult task for foreigners. We recommend travelers to use public transport and taxis for their inner city transportation rather than renting a car. Another thing that should be taken into account is that crossing the streets in Iran requires a bit of courage. The cars won't stop until you start walking in the middle of the street and speed up at the sight of yellow light to pass before it turns before it turns red. So don't be afraid and start crossing the street instead of waiting for the cars to stop before that and avoid crossing the street yet yellow light. You can ask a local to accompany you the first few times. Huh. So let's remember this. The cars won't stop until you start walking in the middle, middle of the street and speed up at the side of the yellow light to pass before it turns red. So uh, don't be afraid and start crossing the street instead of waiting for the cars to stop before that and avoid crossing the street at yellow light. You can ask a local to accompany you the first few times. 6. Dress Code As Iran is an Islamic country, Following a certain dress code is a law that applies to everyone, including travelers. 
This dress code requires women to cover their hair with a scarf, wear long sleeve shirts, <coughs> long sleeve shirts、uh, that reach below the waist, and long pants. Men must also avoid wearing sleeveless shirts and shorts. Although it seems hard at first, the dress code for Iran is rather flexible. And it's even less strict for travelers. Note the dress code must be followed from the moment your plane lands in Iran. You can read our complete guide to Iran dress code. Ato. Must avoid wearing sleeveless shirts and shorts. Seven Wi-Fi and VPN. Unlike most European countries, free Wi-Fi is not available in most restaurants, cafes, and malls. However, most hotels, hostels, and homestays offer free Wi-Fi to their guests. Thus, to make sure you can access the internet everywhere, it's best to buy an Iranian SIM card. And use its data package. 4G data is available throughout the country with Iranian SIM cards. In addition, it's important to have a VPN, virtual private network, installed on your phone beforehand, as many social media websites and some other ones, such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc., are blocked by the government. Damn, WhatsApp. Is not blocked. Is working fine. We at Chita Adventures provide our travelers with a portable modem with Wi-Fi during their tour as a charge-free service. Eight. Prepare yourself for squat toilets. Although Western toilets are now available in many restaurants, malls, and hotels, most of the homes and public areas still only have Iranian toilets or squat toilets. So prepare yourself for some extra effort. In addition, many of the public restaurants don't have toilet paper, leaving you with two options: either having a roll of toilet paper with you all the time, or adapt. To the situation and use water instead with a hose like locals. Squat toilets. Hotels usually have Western toilets as well. Nine. Iranians have various kebabs, stews, and rice. Persian kebab may be the most famous Persian food, but Iranians have various delicious and healthy foods. Don't restrict yourself to kebabs. Or fast food when traveling to Iran and try their various local homemade dishes, homemade dishes, homemade foods, homemade dishes, dishes. Right. Most of the Iranian dishes are served with a large amount of rice or bread. So if you feel like you'd like your meal with less rice, you can let the waiter know. When ordering, furthermore, aside from kebabs, Iranian dishes are usually stews or rice mixtures containing either beef or chicken and several vegetables and grains. If you are vegetarian, make sure to ask the waiter or your guide to tell you the ingredients. Ten. You will learn to have fun without alcohol. Being an Islamic country, alcoholic drinks are banned in Iran and are not served in restaurants. There are also no bars in the country, and alcohol is only found in the black market, which can be risky to buy. There are plenty of other drinks offered in restaurants and bars. Ranging from the typical Coca-Cola to juices, various types of coffee, tea, and several local drinks. 
11. Public affection. The rules of Islam forbid men and women who are not married or related to each other from touching in public. However, this rule is not strictly followed in reality. If you are traveling with your partner, it's okay to hold hands and hug, but it's best to save further affection for private areas, especially in more religious cities such as Yazd and Kashan. However, many men and women shake hands despite what is spread in the media, but to avoid any further misunderstanding, it's best to wait for locals to offer you their hand. Twelve. Attention. Take off your shoes before entering. Carpets are seen in most, almost all Iranian homes, mosques, and hotel rooms. Thus, Iranians take their shoes off whenever entering their home or mosque. It's recommended to take your shoes off if you are invited to someone's home or when entering the praying hall of a mosque. But it's unnecessary when it comes to your hotel room. Yeah, uh, whenever I go to a hotel, either in Korea, you know, USA, Canada, uh, UK, or China, I don't take off my shoes unless I take a shower or go to bed. 13. Segregation in public, transportation, gyms, and pools. If you are not the type to use public transportation for inner city transport, it's important to know that buses and subways have two separated sections. One of these sections is restricted to women only and the other is co-ed. This segregation is not taken very seriously in subways and men enter the women's section very often during the rush hour. Furthermore, gyms and pools have separate schedules for men and women they are usually open to women from early morning till 5 to 5 p.m. and then for men till midnight. Even if you are traveling with a family, women and men aren't allowed to use gyms and pools together. Women only wagons of Tehran Metro. Women can use after wagons as well other vegans as well. 14. Iranians are hospitable and welcoming. <clears throat> Not hostile, hospitable. Iranians are famous for their unique hospitality and kindness towards travelers. While it might seem stranger, strange in other countries, people will approach you very often in Iran just to greet you and welcome you to the country. As a traveler, you might also get invited to have a cup of tea or coffee many times. While traveling in Iran, you will be greeted by locals everywhere and probably get invited to lots of homes. In addition, the locals are always ready to help, you help if you are lost or in need of any help. 15. Taxi in Iran. I'll just lower uh, windows of my car to get the uh, fresh air in because it's raining outside and uh, I have to close my windows. 15. Taxi in Iran. The taxi system in Iran is a little different from anywhere else around the world. There are three types of taxis in the country the calling taxi, the normal European taxi, and Iranian Uber. The calling taxi. These types of taxis are the most popular type among locals and the cheapest as the price is divided among the four passengers. How it works is usually the driver is waiting by a junction intersection or in a taxi station calling out its destination until the car is full. It also works vice versa. 
and sometimes the passengers call out their destination to the taxis passing by until one of them stops. This type of taxi is not usually recommended to travelers. Normal, the normal European taxi. Yeah, I would, I would not use that taxi un, unless we are for travelers. This type of taxi, taxis work the same way as a normal taxi in most European countries does. Just remember to be clear about your destination and agree on price with the driver before getting in. It's better to ask the locals about the usual cost of taxi for your destination as the taxi, taxis in Iran don't have tax meters. Damn. Iranian Uber. Using the Iranian Uber is the easiest and least time-consuming way to get around inside the countries. The mobile application named Snap can be installed from Google's Play and App Store and works just like Uber. You can download it from here too. The price is always stated in the application as soon as you mark your destination. Note that the driver may call you to ask where you are. If, you, if so, you can just respond with the location and remember to mark your exact location on the map. Snap is available in all major cities and many of the smaller ones. Tab 30, pronounced Tapsi, just like a taxi, is another application similar to Uber and Snap. You can download it here. 16. Tap water is drinkable. The tap water is drinkable in most of the cities in Iran, but it's necessary to ask the locals to make sure. There is also drinkable water available in most parks, subway stations, and malls, so we recommend having a refillable bottle with you throughout your trip in order to avoid buying numerous plastic bottles. Refillable bottle. Refillable bottle. 17. Many Iranians speak basic English. Persian is the official language of Iran and its various dialects are spoken all over the country. Many of the educated people in Iran speak basic English and among them people under the age of 30 speak it better. In spite of this, it's recommended to learn basic Persian phrases like greeting, addressing, and asking for prices to facilitate communication during your stay. It's also beneficial to learn the written form of numbers in Persian as the prices are usually written on products. 18. Tarof, a confusing costume. Tarof is considered one of the strangest Iranian costumes. It's usually done to show respect towards the other person. For example, Iranians may often ask you to walk through a door before them to respect you. Another example of tarof is Iranians, including shopkeepers, taxi drivers, etc., tend to reject your payment at first, but you have to keep insisting until they accept. If they don't accept after three full rounds of rejecting and insisting, then it means they wanted to give you a complimentary service. A picture of Rashd Bazaar. Be aware of tarof when you go shopping. 19. Uh, the weekend is on Thursday and Friday. The Iranian calendar is a bit different from the rest of the world. The Persian week begins on Saturday and ends on Friday. With Thursday and Friday being the weekend, the shops are usually open from Saturday to Thursday and from 10 p.m. to 9 p.m. However, grocery stores tend to open around 6.30 and 7 a.m. and close at 10 and 10.30 p.m. daily. Furthermore, malls and shopping centers usually open 
at 10 to 11 a.m. and are open until 11.30 and 12 p.m., which is very nice, man. And they are also open on Fridays. Hmm. So, so the shopping malls, they are open basically uh, during any waking hours on any days. The restaurants and cafes in major cities usually have long opening hours with the cafes working from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Wow, midnight. And restaurants from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. every day. You cannot go hungry in Iran. Note, during summer, many, during summer, many local shops and bazaars are closed from 2 to 4 p.m. in hot cities. Wow, we're almost there, right? Tony. Right? <laughs> Tony, Ramadan. When restaurants and cafes are closed during the day, Muslims all over the world fast for a month each year, meaning they avoid eating, drinking, and smoking from sunrise to sunset. This month is called Ramadan. And it's the ninth month of Islamic Arabic calendar, as most restaurants, uh, at most restaurants, juice bars and cafes are closed from sunrise to sunset. It's best to avoid traveling to Iran during this time. Twenty-one, you need a visa for Iran. Most of the countries around the world, with the exception of a few, require. A visa to enter Iran. For most nation nationalities, both a visa on arrival and visa in ad advance are available. However, a few are not eligible for a visa on arrival and some can only apply for a visa through a travel agency. The process of obtaining an Iran visa is a rather easy one, and travelers are usually granted a visa that is valid for three months and allows them to spend up to 30 days in Iran. Even though many nationalities are eligible for a visa on arrival, it's recommended to apply for a visa in advance to avoid the long waiting lines at the airport. You can apply for an Iranian visa during the official website of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or through a travel agency such as Chita Adventures. For a complete guide on how to get Iran visa, check out the Iran uh, visa application page. 22. Don't take photos of military settlements or equipment. As a traveler, you will definitely find many things interesting and take many photos but you should be aware that for photography is banned in some locations. Taking photos of military settlements, military stations, and forces, factories, power plants, and other strategic buildings such as ministries is legally banned due to the national security matters. It's best to pay attention to no photography signs and ask permission before taking photos, if you are not sure. 23. Hotels will keep your passport. Some of the hotels may keep your passport for the duration of your stay. However, there is no need to worry as they will be kept safe. As your passport may be your only identification document during the, your trip, it's recommended to have a copy of your passport with you. You can also ask the hotel reputation reception to make copies of your passport and return the original. I will stop here and go to work now. Uh, rain subsided uh, much, so maybe I don't need an umbrella, but I will just carry one regardless. Have a nice uh, Tuesday. I will be back uh, to the lunch hour and add two video recordings for you to make it into one. Thanks for listening and Four, any car can be a taxi. Taxis are usually yellow or green all around the world, but things are a little different here in Iran. 
In addition to the normal green or yellow taxis, many of the taxis are normal private cars, especially the ones working in SNAP, Iranian Uber. This type of taxi is very common and is usually safe. However, it's better to try to find yellow taxis as they have a valid work permission. Well, if they don't have a meter uh, inside the car, if the taxis are running without metering, then what the heck, I would uh, go for Uber too. But Uber also has many uh, criminalistic uh, drivers sometimes. So maybe uh, it's better if the taxi uh, has a valid work per uh, permission. So we are caught between the hard and rock place. 25. You might need an electrical adapter and power converter. The standard voltage of the electricity in Iran is 220 volts, and the frequency is 50 hertz. In Korea, it's 220 volts, and the frequency is 60 hertz. Thus, you will need an adapter to use electrical appliances working, working in a different voltage range. In addition, the plugs in Iran are the European type, type C, and you will need a converter for other sockets. In Korea, we use the, uh, uh, I don't know, same round-shaped uh, plugins, uh, much like a Chinese, but Chinese plugs are, are a little bit, the posts, two horns, two horns posts, are slimmer than ours. Uh, I think uh, Korean plugs are much better than Chinese and maybe more efficient than American ones. So this article was prepared by cheetahadventures.com. There were no new words that I couldn't understand. Uh, every words, expressions, cliches were uh, well known. But uh, uh, the more I read this article, th uh, the more I am interested in visiting Iran. Uh, so before I go, let's go over the uh, titles, uh, subjects one more time. Chapters kind of Persians are not Arabs. No hate towards Americans. Yes. A confusing currency and limited Toman payment options. Real. Uh, there's the uh, one zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Toman, right? Toman. Payment methods. Uh, no credit card is accepted uh, for Iran. Uh, Iran is safe and free of Islamic extremists uh, driving and crossing the road. Uh, dress code, yes, Wi-Fi and VPN. Prepare yourself for squat toilets. That's the toilet. Chinese also use the similar toilet. Uh, in Korea, we use the similar toilet, but very rare these days. Most of them are just sitting urinals. Iran's have various kebabs, skews, and rice. You will learn to have fun without alcohol. That's much better. Public affection. You got to be careful. Attention. Take off your shoes before entering. Same in Korea. Segregation in public. Not anymore in Korea. Iranians are hospitable and welcoming. They are very pretty too. Women are very pretty. Taxi in Iran. Uh, there are three different kinds. The calling taxi, the normal European taxi, and Iranian Uber. Tap water is drinkable. That's good news. Many Iranians speak basic English, right? Taruf, a confusing costume. You got to be careful uh, when you go shopping. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Taruf, what is a taruf, man? Uh, the weekend is on Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday, right? So weekend is Thursday and Friday. Ramadan, when restaurants and cafes are closed during the day. You need a visa for Iran. 
Don't take photos of military settlements and equipment. Yep, uh, same with Oman, or maybe it's, it's same all over the Arabic and Persian countries. You shouldn't take a photo of soldier, police, or anyone in uniform unless you have a permission or agreement from them. Hotels will keep your passport. I was incarcerated for 20 minutes after I took a photo of the border guard when I crossed from UAE to Dubai to Oman. You gotta be careful, man. I was locked up in a single cell for 20 minutes until they go through my digital camera. Damn, I was scared, man. Any car can be a taxi. Hotels will keep your passport. You might need an electrical adapter and power converter. So that was a good primer on Iran. Iran recently launched uh, like a 300 drones, 30 uh, cruise missiles, and about 100 ballistic, ballistic missiles. They all were shot down by Israel, American arm, uh, naval and air force and the UK military and even France and Jordanian uh, military, which is sad. Not necessarily uh, it's sad because no people were killed, but I mean, their technology was out of league. Thanks for listening. Have a peace in the Middle East and the Persia.